Okay, folks, that winter storm moving across the United States is cooking up some tornadoes in the southeast. We had a fairly strong earthquake off the coast of El Salvador, and folks in Colombia were trying to siphon gas out of a pipeline and caused a pretty big explosion. The Chilean volcano, the one that's been a, a worry for them for a while now, is uh, causing ash fall in both Chile and Argentina. And we have a mass fish death in uh, India, most likely as a result of them poisoning the Bengal River a few weeks ago. Folks, taking a look at the sun, we have a pretty good coronal hole there, uh, going to be facing Earth in a few days. Magnetic filaments all over the sun. And take a look at this uh, active region right here. It is not playing around whatsoever. It fired off a pretty good coronal mass ejection just a little bit ago. Uh, it's not Earth directed, but this solar active region is turning towards Earth and uh, if it continues to be active, we'll pose a threat here in just a few days. Having a look at it here, uh, we can see uh, that there are a number of large sunspots here, and uh, each one is uh, a beta spot in and of itself. If they take it together, it probably will eventually be beta gamma. When they labeled it alpha here, you could see they could only see one uh, sunspot, so it was still kind of hiding around the corner. That'll change tonight. Back to the road to World War III, folks. We uh, we brought you this story yesterday, but if you don't know that the propaganda is out in full swing, then maybe you could use a little reminder. We had some interesting developments yesterday as one Soyuz uh, mission carrying some humans uh, successfully docked with the ISS, while the Soyuz 2 rocket carrying a military spy satellite failed. However, these uh, test-fired nuclear missiles were a success. Now, there were no nuclear warheads on these. They were just dummy missiles. But it's interesting that they scheduled these three things on the same day, especially if there's any kind of worry amongst them that the U.S. weather weapon, a.k.a. HARP, had something to do with the Phobos grunt incident. Um, a lot of interesting stuff going on, folks. We'll leave you with uh, the Soho Lasco C3 image of that coronal mass ejection. That's the news. Be safe.